Well, greetings. I'm Keith Merrill, Chairman of the Project Committee. I have with me uh, two members of our committee, Eric Long and Larry Fiesel. Nancy is not with us today, or Luke, but they have been very active. Uh, we've been meeting weekly uh, and many times daily on this project. Uh, well, it's been a month since our last project team update. Eric, of course, has been giving you weekly updates on the project. For those of you who are in the community, you see a lot of activity going on, the congestion in the streets, the lots of trucks, so forth. Uh, River Ridge is, has a separate project, not related to our project, putting in pavers, and then we've been putting in a park where the old tennis court was, and so lots of activity there. But today we want to report uh, on the golf club itself. So now I'm going to have Eric and Larry update you on some specific areas of progress, what, what's happened uh, and is happening in the golf club itself. So we'll head over there right now. We're in front of the clubhouse right now. You can see some of the, right behind us, some of the uh, landscaping is starting to come in. We're starting right now with the trees. You can see we have a flank of royal palms on one side, flank of royal palms on the other side. This is to kind of give us the grand experience coming into the clubhouse. We will have some up lights going on to these areas. In the center, we will put in some celebration grass that's coming in very shortly. In the, in the exact center, we'll have an annual bed right in the center. And then we'll have annuals uh, around, surrounding each one of the uh, royal palm areas. Uh, the other bushes and everything are starting to come in uh, starting on Saturday. And I'll showcase some of the other things coming on online right now. I also wanted to feature behind us, the lattice work is starting to be put in on both sides. Right here, you're going to have Asian jasmine going up. We do have Alexander palms going to be in between these areas and low-lying bushes and then annual beds in the front here. So it's going to be really great. You'll see some more progress next week. As you can see behind me here are the, the uh, air-cooled water chillers that we, uh, uh, in a previous video, we had out in the parking lot. And uh, they've been set in place here for a couple of months now. They are all wired up and piped up and running and all of the air conditioning units up on the roof. Chilled water going through those. The clubhouse is air conditioned right now as we speak. Monday of the of this following week, the coolers in the kitchen will be fired up using the same chilled water that these are producing. Here on the back side of the clubhouse, you see we're still continuing with some of the landscape work. The grass was put in last week. You start seeing it's going to be nice and green now. We have the Particopus plants going in. We have Alexander palms coming soon. So it's really taking shape and looking beautiful. So stay tuned for more. We're on the exterior seating area just outside the pro shop. You can see that the gentleman uh, put in some of the bollard lights. It's really going to illuminate great at nighttime. I already saw a sneak peek this morning. So you'll see that they're finishing up in this area. We'll have all the bollard lights in installed by Wednesday. We'll do our photometric testing on Wednesday as well. So it's really uh, looking great. We're at the Pelican Pub. You can see that they're really uh, taking a lot of things. Uh, a lot of finishing touches are going on here. A lot of the framing is going in. You can see the bar rack above us. There'll be shelves above here that will have uh, liquor bottles. We'll also have a place to uh, store our glass, glasses as well. But the uh, bar top's coming in uh, next week, so you'll really see some more progress very soon. So we're in the pro shop now. A lot of things got accomplished this week. You can see uh, behind us the slat wall, the pro shop desk, uh, more of the cabinetry has been installed above us, some of the decorative ceiling. Really gonna be beautiful here. We're gonna have some pendant lights where you can see those opening junction boxes are. 
Um, and then all of the decorative uh, merchandise pieces are coming within the next week or so. We'll get the carpeting putting in soon and then finishing touches on the offices. So really coming along. So we're in the uh, data room. This is pretty much our command center in the building. We have our fire alarm panel over here, some of our lighting controls, and behind us this is all of our CAT6 uh, data. So we have uh, fiber brought into the building. So this will be uh, uh, obviously a wireless uh, access point for anybody that wants to use the services. So we have that space here. And uh, we have some of our uh, switches that will come in here that will run some of our phone systems as well. So we're going to start putting that in on Monday. Okay, we, we are now in the uh, Vista dining room and you can see how large this room looks right now. Uh, a lot of equipment still in here. A lot of work yet to be done in the ceiling areas. The wood slat ceilings are being installed as uh, right now started the day. Those have acoustical purposes to them, so there'll be some sound barriers in that. And then behind me, if you can see the yellow that's up on the ceiling, that's insulation. And over that insulation is a whisper span fabric that gets stretched, and it gets real tight when it's stretched, and it looks like drywall, but it it's acoustical purposes also, so there won't be any echoing in this room, we hope, with the carpet and, and the sound uh, proof material. As you can see, a lot of the trim carpentry has been put in and it's been primed, ready for the final coat of paint. And there's other trim pieces, uh, some mirrors that go on the walls that we haven't selected yet, and light fixtures, of course, and then the light fixtures in the ceiling and the, above my head behind me. There are two chandeliers like that one, the one in the east end and the one in the west end and they have big glass uh, chandeliers hanging in, inside of those. So it's gonna be really nice looking when all the lights are on and the different textures of the fabrics and the light fixtures and the carpet. So hope that uh, this gives you a little bit of an update of the, of the clubhouse inside, more to come as we get further along and get closer to the, the, the finished product. Well, I wanna thank Eric and Larry uh, for giving us an update. As you can see, we have accomplished a lot this past month, but we have quite a bit yet to do. We're down to the very finite detail work uh, where you're putting in moldings and, and uh, the chairs and all the detail work it takes a lot of labor and a lot of time. Right now we're projecting that by October the 28th that we'll have it turned over to us. This is a little bit longer than I have told you before. But like I say, it's uh, into the detail work. Uh, we're fighting everybody else in the community for skilled labor, and that's where we are right now, is using the skilled portion of the labor. And also uh, getting materials has been a real challenge as well. So, but we're optimistic that by the end of October, we'll own this new clubhouse and we'll be proud of it. So thank you very much for listening to us and stay tuned.